If you're working with next generation sequencing data, you may wish to use Sanger sequencing to validate the results of your assembly or variant calls. Laser Gene Genomics Suite supports this type of validation, allowing you to combine both data types in a single assembly with SeqVan Engine. To get started, set up a new assembly, selecting the appropriate DNA sequencing workflow for your project type. Next, select the Sanger Validation assembly type. And now load your reference sequence or template package. In this example, I'm working with E. coli data, and I'm going to use a GenBank file as my reference. You may also wish to use one of our genome template packages. Here, you can also load any VCF or BED files that you want to use as part of your analysis. Now, select your next-gen read technology and load those reads. And on the same page, load your Sanger reads. On the Assembly Options page, select your preferred variant detection method, then name your project, and specify a project safe location. Now your assembly is ready to begin. After the assembly is complete, open the results in SeqMan Pro. Here, the Illumina and Sanger reads will be binned into separate subalignments, each with their own pseudo-consensus sequence shown in gold. Use the SNP report to locate variants of interest. Here, you can sort by group to group the variants from each read technology together and use the available filtering options to narrow the list down to variants of interest. From here, you can double-click a SNP row to open that position in the alignment view. Then examine the next-gen read alignment, as well as the Sanger alignment and trace data. If desired, you can confirm SNPs from the SNP report and then save those SNPs to an existing VCF file or write a new VCF file for downstream analysis.